Hello everyone and welcome back to Triton TV. Um, this is episode two of the emulators, ROMs, and virtualization series. Today we're going to set up a Super Nintendo emulator. So let's go ahead and start screen recording now. Um, we're going to click on this. So the one I'm going to pull up is called ZNES. There's a bunch of other ones on this website. I'll leave a link to this website in the description. So we're going to go ahead and download this bad boy here. It's going to take a little bit. I already downloaded it, but I'm just just want to show you guys what it looks like. Um, so I'm just going to throw it in my downloads folder. I'm going to click on show in folder, bring this bad boy over here. We're going to, oops, right click, extract all, let it extract. I'm going to shift delete the zip folder because I don't like things in my recycling bin. And then we're just going to double click on it. And this is the default layout. And then when you click on it, um, it'll tell you to read the stuff, this and that, um, miscellaneous, there's some about, oh man, it's hard to click on that. Um, so yeah, it says to read the stuff. I think this one actually has, yeah, so this one actually has a readme. Um, go ahead and read through this and it'll tell you kind of default settings and what you need to know. But, uh, yeah, so that's what it looks like when you download it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that just so you can see how that looks. Oops. Let's go ahead and close this bad boy out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to pull it up in my actual real folder where it's at. Um, just because this one's already got all the file structure and everything set up. Oh, you know what? I like connecting controllers first. It seems like a better idea, just so all the inputs are set up. So let's go ahead and pull this guy up here. Um, so what I would do is, let me show you this real quick. What I would do is whatever um, folder you have for it, um, ZNEX, SNES ROMs, um, yeah, so I would put the executable in the same folder with the games, just so they're all there. And then once you set up the directory right off the bat, it'll know exactly where to look. So we're going to pull this back up here. Hopefully it's not a second instance. And then same thing, just like the last one, they're all very similar. This one, the load button up here is where it'll pull up all your games. And um, you can just double click on them. You always want to double check that your inputs are all set up. Um, keyboard, gamepad. Oops. Let's escape real quick. <laughs> it always messes up the screen, so sometimes it'll pull the browser over. I already, we already had the other one open too. So, okay. So we're gonna go to configure input. Let's see if this is. Yeah, so this looks like it's already set. So you would just go through and you can click on them or you can click set keys and it'll cycle through them in order. Um, I'll just go ahead and do that. So it says enter the key or button to use for up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, why? I think I messed those up. Let's do that again. Up, down, left, right, start, select, A button, B button, X button, Y button, L, R. Okay, there we go. And then I can't remember if you can save it, but either way. So once you get your ROMs loaded and you tell the game the first time where they're at, all you do is double click on them. And we're going to pull up Zelda just because it's one of my favorite games. Um, yeah, I believe the tilde key. The tilde key is the one that does the turbo. So if you want to skip through, you know, this stuff. So just a few more things. These um, systems are all very similar. You can do save state. 
So if I push to save state now and then I reload it, I could start exactly from here. It can be in between in-game saves and everything, so those are really good. Um, you can open save state. Um, you can reset, just like hitting reset on the Super Nintendo. Um, like I said, the most important, like on the last one, the most important um, things are inputs and then video settings. Um, this one you can't run at any much higher than this, and so uh, I guess you can, but it might get grainy. This is just the default, I believe. It's fine. It works for me. So, um, And then you have devices. You can just double check your things are connected. That's why I always plug them in first. Um, video, sound, paths. Let's see. Saves now. Yeah, so you can set up the directory of all kinds of different things here. I haven't done much of that. Speed. This will show you the shortcuts for that. Oops. Cheat code. You can add codes, browse, net play, miscellaneous, blah, blah, blah. Very cool system. Really easy to set up. You're going to download the zip file, unzip it, um, get your ROMs, or if you get your ROMs, especially if they're Nintendo, just double check legality and all that. Um, and then you're going to set up your directory, and then you can play your games. One big advice that I have is always can check to your controller beforehand, just so it knows what to look for for inputs. These systems aren't the best at detecting while you connect. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys have fun playing some retro games. That is the SNES little short tutorial um, in the emulators, ROMs and virtualization series. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to look at the Nintendo 64. That one's a little bit more detailed. We'll spend a little bit more time on that. But this one's very similar to the last one. And you can try other different ones. They're all the same. I just know how to use I've had this one since I was in like high school. So I've had this one for over 10 years. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe for more, especially if you like this stuff. we got a lot more coming. And comment down below if you have any issues or questions comments, concerns, you think I'm ugly or look great or whatever. So see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.